Hey, what's up? This is your boy, Big Man, and we're going to be doing something a little different today. So this is going to be part one of a three-part series where we're going to talk about the beef between Yo Gotti and Gucci Man. Now, this beef is very interesting, and we can kind of call it a cold war because neither side has done anything against each other, say physically or in the streets, but there's definitely still tension there. Now, where this all began was in 2008, where a younger Yo Gotti and a younger Gucci man used to work together as accomplices. Now, things went down to end that relationship and things went down on both sides to where it was never built back together again. But there is some hope for the future in some of the signings that have took place. So Yo Gotti and Gucci man are both CEOs now. They've been signing a lot of talent. Pretty much Gucci Man has been signing everybody in the Southeast who's who's got some type of name to them or any type of talent whatsoever. Anybody who's popping in the streets, him, Yo Gotti, or anybody in Yo Gotti's chain is usually right on top of it. Now, this strategy has proved useful and actually very smart in building an empire. You could say in this Cold War, both of these generals are building up their war chess. Now, as I said before, they started out as friends. And we're on our next video, we're going to talk about that friendship and where things fell out. So look for the part two of this. It's going to be called The Fallout. And you'll, we'll, go, we'll deep dive into how that friendship broke, broke up. And then on the final video, we'll talk about the future and more of the present. But on this video, we're going to talk about these new school artists. And specifically, we're going to talk about Poo Shiesty, who signed with Gucci's 1017, and Big 30, who signed with Moneybag Yo, who, who, who's, under, who's under Yo Gotti's CMG. So Big 30 is actually side to Bread Gang under Moneybag Yo, but Yo, Moneybag Yo is signed to Yo Gotti. So these relationships were doomed from the start but some bonds can't be broken and we'll get right into that now so Pooh Shiesty and Big 30 they met as early as the fifth and sixth grade they became partners and friends even though they were from two different neighborhoods which is a very odd thing now being from two different neighborhoods for most folks who grow up in suburban America doesn't mean anything but when you're from a hood in a metropolitan area, man, there's some deep concerns there. So Big 30 is from one hood and Pooh Shiesty is from a totally different hood. Now that alone would cause a ripple in most people's relationships and they would never be able to build a friendship or a bond based off of that. But somehow these two still remain friends and they would meet up on the weekends and have all kind of fun with each other. Now, they both hail from Memphis. Big 30, he's from his neighborhood that he claims. And Pooh Shiesty is from his neighborhood that he claims. And they're both very proud of putting this into their music videos. And they talk about this a lot in their interviews. Now, these guys have been partners and friends since way back in the day. And they built that into their music relationship. Now, they met early had a frequent collaborator, and started to produce music. Then something happened in 2018 that had changed everything. These guys started catching wreck. I mean, people were really messing with their music. Late 2018, people were really buzzing about these two young artists, and people loved their music in the city of Memphis. But as you know, when things start to blow up in Memphis, it starts to travel throughout the Southeast. Same goes for Atlanta, same goes for Louisiana. And next thing you know, there's a lot of buzz around these two rappers. Throughout this time, these guys are constantly making music, making their own craft, and crafting their own sound. Now, Big 30 and Pooh Shiesty have their own sound and style of beat. Their beat style is not replicated by anybody in the game right now. So that's why a lot of people, you know, gravitated towards their music. So their music and their sound alone, mixed with the fact that they are certified from certified neighborhoods, 
man, it was just a combo that was built to last in the music industry. One thing that is odd and isn't built to last are friendships. And throughout all this, their friendship has already been tested a little bit. But it seems like these two are partners for until the day that they die. Because even with those tests, they've seen them through and they've been traveling this whole thing together. Now, in September of 2019, these guys were already on top, man. They were dropping videos on YouTube that were seeing millions and millions and millions of hits. Every time they put up a new a new song, it was getting millions of hits. They really honed in on their style and they had their own individual sound. Then in September, Big 30 gets signed. So that's one member out of the two friends that get signed. So you would think that would make things odd. But during the same time, they were in an interview and they had talked about the fact that Big 30 getting signed by Moneybag Yo was just like Poo Shiesty getting signed. So in September of 2019, that that it, that situation didn't didn't throw any wrench into their relationship. So these guys continued on making music. Obviously, you could tell by the change in their demeanor and things like that, that they were seeing some big money, man. Big 30 obviously had seen reportedly what is people have been saying, $2 million. And it looked like he was sharing with his homie. So they were on this ride. They started this ride together and they were going to end this ride together. So next thing you know, fast forward to April of 2020 and Pooh Shiesty gets signed by 1017. Now, this is an interesting signing because it is well known in the hip hop industry that Gucci Man, CEO of 1017, has had problems with Yo Gotti, the CEO of CMG. So what could this bring about for these two brand new rappers coming into the game? Well, only time will tell about that. But one thing is for sure, their friendship is going to continue to be tested with this label situation that they've entered. Because 1017 and, and CMG traditionally haven't worked together since the split up of Gucci Man and Yo Gotti. This is pulling both of these young rappers into this cold war between labels. So Yo Gotti and Gucci Man have to be the elder statesman and guide these young rappers' careers in the right direction direction now technically big 30 is signed under money bag yo so it's really money bag yo that's at the reins and has to have a cooler head now he might check up to yo Gotti on certain things but money bag yo is a boss on his own big 30 and Pooh shiesty they just have to play 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 it by ear and make sure not to make any mistakes now recently Big 30 took to Instagram and posted a picture of him, Pooh Shiesty, and Gucci Man. The young rapper was just trying to show love, but Gucci Man did not like that at all. He didn't like the attention, and he immediately clapped back on social media. Now, the post has since been deleted, and but Gucci Man was just still showing that clear divide between the artists and the labels. Now, Big 30 didn't apologize or anything like that, but videos have been shown of him and Pooh Shiesty hanging out like normal after that in the studio. That was just another sign of the fact that these two labels definitely don't deal with each other and there's still some bad blood that needs to be resolved. But who takes the responsibility to resolve that bad blood? Is it going to be between the artists or is it going to be to be between the label owners? Now, with Pooh Shiesty and Big 30 both being signed, their numbers even shot up higher. And recently, they've been included on a lot of big mixtape releases. They actually dropped a song with one of the hottest rappers in the game, Little Baby, if not the hottest rapper in the game. And that song has shot up as well on YouTube. But with all this uptick in success, there's still that big barrier between labels. 
Now, can these labels get in the middle of a friendship? That's not easy to determine. But what is easy to determine is Gucci Man and Yo Gotti and Money Bag Yo love money and they love success. And I think for now, that'll be a benefit to these two new young rappers because Gucci Man just dropped his So Icy Summer playlist. And on the playlist, you can see a song featuring Big 30 and another song featuring Money Bag Yo. So it's looking like that Cooley Heads will prevail in this cold war just as long as it continues to stay cold. Now, that'll be it for this section. Please stay tuned for our, for our next part. On part two, we're going to talk about the fallout and how things went down between Gucci Man and Yo Gotti in the first place to start this war. And with that, this has been your boy Big Man, and we out. Oh yeah, please hit that like button, please hit that subscribe button, and hit that notification bell so you can get the notification for the next video. Peace.